You saw it unfold on television. The deliberate undermining of the Trump presidency. As Mr. Trump said, disgraceful. It was in the White House late afternoon. The president, surrounded by national security people, they are discussing a strike on Syria's Bashir Assad, who has again gassed women and children. Obama did nothing about it. Trump demands action. But wait. The president first had to deal with the FBI's raid on his personal lawyer and the seizure of all his personal records. I thought the lawyer-client relationship was like a priest and a confession or a therapist and a patient, inviolate. But no, not in the age of Chief Inquisitor Robert Mueller. And this raid had nothing to do with Russia or collusion, no. It was all about payments to a porn star. Boy, the Mueller investigation has come a long way, hasn't it? And you know it will go on forever. No collusion? So what? If you look long and hard and breach client attorney privilege, you can find some kind of damaging headline, can't you? And that's what the Democrats want to do, damage President Trump. Obama holdovers buried in the federal bureaucracy have had great success, both in undermining the president and covering for Hillary Clinton. Notice the lack of progress in the Clinton probes and the never-ending and always expanding Mueller investigation. Like day and night they are. It seems the Clintons walk on water. Back to the White House meeting. That was the moment when the serious business of governing ran straight into the vicious politics of presidential destruction. The president has to mop up Obama's foreign policy disaster, but he's ambushed by political opponents who hate him and could care less about the damage they do to our country. Disgraceful. 